Sanya, you already know who I am. And now we are going to have this model of class. I hope you enjoy this class. And first of all, I will proceed to you the glossary of the week. Okay, let's start. The first word is strike. That is the action that is this guy having. Okay, it's uh, to make an effort on something. Uh -huh. For example, this guy he strikes to open this, uh -huh, this curve. Uh, second word is owner. Most of you already know the word, but for the people who doesn't, it's owner is the person who uh, owns all of this. For example, I am the owner of this cell phone. Yes, it's me, it belongs to me. So I am the owner of this. Okay? Ready? Third word it's behalf of. Uh -huh. uh, we can say that it's quite similar to say in the name of this, uh -huh. so be on behalf of, uh, very common, they say, no, uh, go away on behalf of God, no, I mean, in the name of this, yes, that might be like one example, uh, assembly, assembly is, uh, I don't know, people, uh -huh. mostly we use this word uh, when we talk about politics, uh -huh. so this is the assembly, uh -huh, where they take this where they make decisions, sorry, where yes, the people gather to, to do something, uh -huh, the assembly. B10, okay, this guy is B10, uh -huh. I mean, another person beats this person. When you are fighting, there is a winner and there is a B10 one, uh -huh. that might be. And ready, waves, waves are these waves <laughs> that are created uh, by the moon, uh -huh. the ocean is. The moon is pulling the water of the ocean, so it creates waves, uh -huh. the waves, waves. Okay, uh, anger, okay, this is, well, look, no, this is anger, uh -huh. we can say fury also as, as a sign of it. Okay, overthrow, overthrow is when a person quits uh -huh, to another person, I mean beats another person, uh -huh. overthrow. And rearrange, and here we have our beautiful dogs again. Uh -huh. And what can be another word to say rearrange? Can be reorganized, uh -huh. can be change, can be reconstruct, can be reorder, reposition. Uh -huh. I mean, when you modify this now, we are talking about situations, we are not talking about things. Uh -huh. We are talking about situations. So, rearrange might be when you modify or when you change a situation somehow. Okay. And the last word that is lawsuits. Uh -huh. Lawsuits are, it's a fight in a courtroom. Uh -huh. That is a lawsuit. And um, when you don't like something and you are trying to fight against the situation and you take as a support the law, that might be a lawsuit. Uh -huh. Okay, next thing as well. That's all. This is the glossary of the week. Remember that you have to keep studying. I will upload another another video where there is only the glossary, so you can be studying and studying. Because remember that on Friday we have a dictation, we have an activity with these words. Okay, so I hope you understand them all. And well, if you have any question, you already know where to find me. Now, and let's go. On the page one thirty-four of your learning log. Uh -huh. That is the page we must solve today. Okay, you have to, well, first of all, you have to tell me about any politician that you know. Uh, maybe you don't know a lot about politicians, maybe yes, I don't know if you are quite interested in politics, maybe you know something about them. If not, you can ask your parents, you can ask your relatives, not a lot of the grandma, the grandpa, and you have to fill with this in this organization. How what is the name of the politician? where this politician was from, uh, the years in office, and what were the contributions this politician had, okay? And later, we will have to fill the organizer, uh -huh, here this map, with glossary words. I would, I would ask you to make a memory exercise and to try to fill the organizer using your memory, uh -huh. Please don't check again, don't, don't go back in the video. Please try to remember the glossary words and try to put here the words, uh -huh. If it is impossible, okay, later yes, you are allowed to go back and to check again so you can build them. Yes? Only that's it. 
And in the third activity, uh -huh, I will ask you to tell me what was the most difficult part of the text. We are talking about the text you read on your awesome digital awesome reader and writer, okay? And, and I want you to make write five instructions to read and understand the text. I mean, how would you understand the text better using the glossary words that we checked with that we checked, sorry. Okay, and that's it. Uh, I hope you understand. I hope you have this very clear and remember that I am here for you. Thank you.